So hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel. Today in this video we will be discussing about a type of mixture which is worldwide used nowadays and that is static mixture. As you all know that the chemical industry relies heavily on efficient mixing processes which is to achieve desired product quality and process efficiency. Traditionally mechanical mixtures and agitators were used to achieve mixing but they often faced limitations such as high energy consumption, maintenance requirement and even uneven mixing. However, with the introduction of static mixture, these challenges have been overcome and leading to a significant advancement in chemical processes. You might be thinking that where are these type of mixtures used and how do they look like? So these are the type of mixtures which are applicable to gas or low viscous liquids which are blended by passing them through a length of open pipe or a pipe containing orifice plate or segmented baffles. So guys, this was a brief about what is a static mixture. Now up next comes the operating principle of static mixture, where the operating principle of static mixture is classified into two, from which the first is the laminar flow mixing and turbulent flow mixing. Firstly looking at the laminar flow mixing, static mixture utilizes laminar flow to achieve efficient mixing. As fluid passes through the mixture, they encounter a series of strategically placed mixing element which disrupts the flow and promote thorough mixing. The mixing element can take various forms such as helical blades, channels or tabs which is depending on the specific design of the static mixture. Now the next operating principle of static mixture is turbulent flow mixing. In certain applications, static mixtures can also generate turbulent flow to enhance the mixing efficiency. Turbulent flow mixing involves the creation of vortices and eddies within the mixture which promotes rapid and thorough mixing of the fluid components. You can see the pictorial representation of laminar flow mixing and turbulent flow mixing of the figures on the screen. After the operating principle of static mixture, we will be looking at the advantages of static mixture. As we all know, static mixture offers several advantages over the traditional mechanical mixtures making them highly desirable in chemical industries. From which one of the key advantages of static mixture is their maintenance free operation. Unlike mechanical mixtures, static mixture does not have any moving part that can wear out or require regular maintenance. This reduces the downtime and increase the overall process efficiency. The next advantage is of energy efficiency. Static mixture operates with low energy consumption, making them highly energy efficient. The absence of mechanical component and the use of efficient mixing principle contribute to the reduced energy requirement and which leads to cost saving and environmental benefits. The last and the most important advantage of static mixture is safety and reliability. Static mixture eliminates the risk of mechanical failure or leaks which are associated with the traditional mixtures. They operate without the need of any external power sources and which reduce the potential for accidents and ensuring reliable and safe operations. Now at last in this particular video of static mixture, we will be looking at the application of static mixture in chemical industries. Static mixture finds a wide range of application in chemical industries, improving the process efficiency and product quality. One of the application of static mixture in chemical industry is blending of miscible fluids. In chemical processes where miscible fluids needs to be blended, static mixture offers an efficient solution which is by creating a thorough and a consistent mixing. Static mixture ensures uniform distribution of component resulting in high quality and products. The next application is of liquid liquid and gas liquid interface generation. Static mixture are extensively used for liquid liquid and gas liquid interface generation by promoting intimate contact between the different phases. Static mixture enhances mass transfer and reaction rates which leads to improved process efficiency. Okay, the third application of static mixture in chemical industry is liquid solid dispersion. The dispersion of solid particle in a liquid is a crucial process in many chemical industries. Static mixture facilitates the uniform dispersion of the solid which prevents the formation of agglomerates and ensures consistent product quality. 
in the last application of static mixture is heat transfer and handling and the last top and the last application for static mixture is heat transfer enhancement static mixture are also utilized to enhance heat transfer in various chemical processes by promoting turbulence flow and increasing the interfacial area between the fluid static mixture improves heat transfer rates and reduces process time and energy consumption so these were few of the application of static mixture in chemical industry so guys that's all for this video where we discussed about the introduction of static mixture then we moved on to the then we moved on to the operating principle of static mixture the advantages of static mixture and at the end we discussed about the application of static mixture in chemical industry in further upcoming videos we will be looking at the type of static mixture so guys please stay tuned for that and guys for more informative content related to process engineering chemical engineering industrial safety or chemical safety you can subscribe to this channel and as always feel free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you in next video